By the 25th century, the human race has begun to colonize deep space. But in an untamed universe, these scattered outposts remain vulnerable to the forces of tyranny, greed, and just plain bad manners. That's where I come in. My name's Omega, and this is my beat. And out here, you never know who might need your help next. How'd you like to take the helm, Lieutenant? Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> oh. Commander Pomerantz, I, I really appreciate you requesting me for this mission. Rachel, I wanted the most qualified person to sit in that co-pilot seat. It's very flattering. I know. Don't, uh, don't touch anything. Uh, Commander, these readings don't make sense if we're heading to Thelos 5. Relax. I fed the computer a shortcut. That way we can deliver our cargo on time and still have two sweaty, sex-filled days before we're due back at headquarters. Jeffrey, not now. This is my first mission in deep space, and I want to be taken seriously. And I want to take you seriously. Have you ever done it in zero gravity, Rachel? If I turn off the G-field, we could both be on top. We're under attack! There's a direct hit on engine three! Hero power to the anti-matter shields! Who the hell's firing at us? what appears to be a disabled Alliance transport under attack. Hmm. Put it up on the really big screen. I believe it's a Zenuvian scavenger ship. This thing is just... Okay, here we go. Zenuvians. My people have been at war with them for a thousand generations. Oh, I have the Zenuvian scum in killing range, Captain. Request permission to fire. Easy, Vina. Let's just find out what they want. Neutron torpedoes are already locked on target. It would be no trouble to annihilate them, sir. No one enjoys a mindless display of brute force more than I do, Vina. But let's just find out if they can explain themselves. This is Captain Vance Omega of the United Alliance of Planets. Captain, how delightful. It had been rumored you'd been reduced to checking registrations in this sector. As you can see, we have our blue stamp for August. And as you can see, I've got 16 neutron torpedoes locked and loaded. Now cease fire on that Alliance ship, or I'll blast the bejesus out of you. Captain, we are honored to be threatened by such a legend, yeah. and yet confused by your accusations. We are merely innocent passers-by, salvaging an abandoned ship. You lying pustule! I still detect ion trails from your destructor tubes. I don't think so. Did you guys fire any weapons or anything? Uh, like a, a photon blaster or... No. Well, I'm at a loss. Now, uh, we have so much work to do. If you'll excuse me, have a nice day. See ya. Ciao. All right, Vina. Time to show them we mean business. With pleasure, sir. Darn it, Vina. I meant a warning shot. I am not a mind reader, sir. Your uncontrolled rage will no doubt cost us another tour of duty in this wretched sector of insufferable nothingness. Not that I'm complaining, sir. All right, you all saw how they fired first, right? Definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is clear from your sarcastic tone that I have displeased my captain. I will now perform the Valkorian death ritual. 
<laughs> All right, Vina, put it away. You Valkorians, everything's gotta be an opera with you people. Captain, I'm picking up readings of survivors on the Alliance craft. Well, bring them aboard, unless Vina wants to blast them to smithereens, too. <laughs> Lieutenant Stryker, my captain would like to see you on the bridge. Is Commander Pomerantz going to be okay? I'm told he was very badly injured. Fortunately, the Icarus boasts the very latest in medical technology. Oh, God. Ooh. We also have a full-service mortuary. Shall we go? Lieutenant Stryker, any relation to Admiral Stryker? Uh, yes, sir. He's my father, uh, but I don't expect any special treatment because of that. Good. Yeah, all I need is a, a cup of tea and a, and a hot bath. I'll be good as new. Okay. Uh, oh, but uh, if you happen to have a biscotti and this month's Vogue, then I'd really be in heaven. <laughs> Do I look like the concierge at the Four Seasons to you, Lieutenant? I risked my ship to save your sorry behind. And I appreciate that, sir. A true warrior would rather die than suffer the shame of losing her ship. I have a large collection of ritual daggers, should you choose to do the honorable thing. Thanks. I'll make do with a good cry. Lieutenant! What the hell were you doing in the middle of nowhere? Uh, we were on a supply mission to Thelos 5, sir. Thelos 5 isn't even in this sector. Who is your navigator? One of the mole people? Oh, the moles. My people have been at war with them Not for Not now, thousand... Vina. Not now. Clark! Put in a call to headquarters. Actually, sir, Admiral Stryker is on the comm now. Put him up on the really big screen. Omega, what the hell is going on out there? I just got a call from the Zenuvian Consulate claiming you vaporized one of their ships. Pure self-defense, sir. It'll all be in my report. You'll be happy to know that I have your daughter here safe and sound. My daughter? Hi, Daddy. Rachel, what the hell are you doing? I had you assigned to the embassy on Mirador. Without even asking me. So I transferred to active status. Omega, you get your reckless ass in gear and you bring my daughter back to headquarters immediately. Rachel, I'll deal with you later. By the way, it's Granny Rose's birthday on Friday. Make sure you send a card with a cat on it. Strike her out! I do enjoy these little chats with your father. Helps me adjust the crimson on the really big screen. Captain, I have just inspected Commander Pomerantz's craft. You, you get a little transmission head going there. Thanks. Um, uh, repairs will be complete within the hour. Uh, however, uh, something has come to my attention which I think you should see. It's not a squirrel, is it? Uh, no, sir. Good, because I hate squirrels. You know, they hide in the landing gear. Ready, sir? Now, Commander Pomerantz has been through quite a lot, so you may find his appearance a bit disturbing. Oh, it doesn't matter what he looks like. What's important is he's alive. Oh! What the hell is that? Commander Pomerantz. He's sleeping at the moment. Doctor, this is nothing but a brain. Sadly, most of his vital organs were beyond repair. But as long as we provide the proper nutrients, there's no reason why he can't lead a normal life. Now, he'll still be a little groggy when he wakes up, so don't stay too long after you tell him. Uh, doctor, are you saying that he doesn't know? I feel it would be better coming from someone... Well... Someone other than me. Oh, no, no, no! Wait! Come back! Come back here, you coward! Good luck! Rachel, is that you? Rachel? Jeffrey. It's me. Why, Why can't, can't I see anything? anything? I, can't I can't feel, feel my legs. legs. Oh, God, don't, don't tell me I'm blind and paralyzed. Uh, it's a good guess, but not exactly. Commander Pomerantz, 
Supreme Command has notified your wife about your, uh, condition. His wife? You're married? Okay, I, I know, know this, this looks, looks bad. bad. You used me! You even said that you loved me! And I meant it. You did? Then what about your wife? I was gonna leave that cow right after the twins were born. Really? You're despicable. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm afraid she's gone, sir. Yeah, well. So, so tell, tell me, pal. When, when they, they come, come to take, take these bandages, bandages off? The truth is, sir, not for at least a month. Lieutenant, I'll be brief. We've just come back from your ship, and you're under arrest. Under arrest? Your cargo did not contain vaccine, as you claimed. Instead, we discovered 1,000 kilos of pure Tiberian lotus extract, the key ingredient in Trimillimex. Trimillo what? Trimillimex, the most powerful narcotic in the universe. Ten times more potent than heroin and more addictive than pistachios, though a lot less fattening. There's gotta be a mistake. And you made it, sister. Cuff her, Vina. Ow! Oh. I meant put handcuffs on her. I know, sir. I've just been wanting to do that all day. <clears throat> Jeffrey, they're going to send me to prison. Tell them I didn't know about any drugs. Rachel, I, I wish I could lie for you. But I'd be betraying this uniform I so proudly wear. Hasn't anybody told him yet? Who cares? The bastard's trying to frame me! Captain, I'm innocent. That'll be decided at your court-martial. All right, all right. Uh, could I have a minute to say goodbye to Commander Pomerantz? Alone? I suppose we could do that. Let's go, Vina. Okay, they're gone. Jeffrey, you know I had nothing to do with those drugs. Of course not. I smuggled the drugs, but I'll never admit it in front of that fathead Omega. <laughs> oh, I only brought you along because I knew with an admiral's daughter on board, I'd sail through customs. But you said you brought me because of my abilities as a ranger. I lied. Makes you pretty mad at me. How about a little revenge sex? You are under arrest, mister. They're still here! Oh, no fair! Rachel, you lied to me! Mm, yes, it doesn't feel very nice, does it? All right, Pomerantz. All right, Pomerantz. Things will go a lot easier if you cooperate. You won't last very long in prison. Prison? I can't go to prison. A good-looking guy like me would get passed around like a Whitman sampler. Then start talking. Where are you going to deliver the drugs? Okay! The drug operation is located on the third planet of the Gamma 5 system. Gamma 5 system? Yeah, you know where the black hole of eternity intersects with that big tear in the fabric of space-time? Well, you go past that till you get to that big asteroid belt. I know where it is! Dad, what are you doing? I've been waiting at the laser range for like an hour. Stevie. All hell's broken loose, son, and I've got to deal with it. Let's go, people. Fine! But next spring break, I'm going to Fort Lauderdale! Hey, kid. I uh, need to talk to you for a second. Come here. Are you here? Oh, man. You're that guy who got creamed by the Zanuvians. So, how are you doing? Don't worry about me, kid. I've been through worse. Really? That's hard to imagine. Listen, how'd you like to have a little fun? Oh, no offense, but you don't really look like the fun guy. <laughs> are you kidding? I'm the original party boy. Tell you what I got in mind. Omega, have you lost what little sense you had? Sir, this drug cartel is flooding half the galaxy with narcotics. I need your permission to slip into the Forbidden Zone and put them out of business. Permission denied. Entering the zone without the approval of the Supreme Council could cause an interplanetary war! And in case you've forgotten, that's my little girl you've got there. Captain Omega's right. By the time the Council acts, this drug ring could move its entire operation. Rachel, I'm ordering you to come home immediately. And Omega, 
If you step one toe inside that forbidden zone, I promise you your career is over. Striker out! Sorry, sir. The dishonor is his, not yours, Captain Omega. I shall lay in a course for Alliance Headquarters. The hell you will. We're headed for the Forbidden Zone! Sir, the Admiral gave you a direct order. Was I the only one here, or what? Look, I can't ask the rest of you to jeopardize your careers. It'll be duly noted in my report that this was my decision and mine alone. But you won't face this alone, Captain. I'll be right by your side. You will not. If anyone will be by his side, it will be me, as I have always been. Fine, then I'll be on the other side. I will be there as well. I will be on all sides at all times, forming an impenetrable shield around my captain. What if you have to go to the bathroom? I will hold it if need be. No sacrifice is too great for our captain. Am I right, fellow rangers? Whatever you Omega! Say, you, captain. you know, when you signed that big birthday card, I thought that was really something special. But this? Sir. Commander Pomerantz's ship and its illicit cargo are missing, as is Commander Pomerantz. Jeffrey's escaped? It would appear he intends to complete his drug transaction. How could he escape? He doesn't have any feet. Just keep following the coordinates I gave you, kid. We should probably start heading back soon, huh? Well, it's up to you. Because I know a strip club in Gamma 5 where the legal age is only 12. Get out of here. I'm 15. What are we waiting for? Has anyone located Steve? No, sir. I even asked several female crew members to take prolonged showers in the hopes of luring him from his hiding place. Good thinking, Lieutenant. Captain. Long-range scanners have picked up the mercury. It has just entered the Forbidden Zone. Readings indicate two life forms on board. You don't think... Yes, I do, Lieutenant. That brain has kidnapped my boy. And we're going after him. Helm, come about! Lieutenant Vina, prepare for hyperspeed! Captain, remember the crew needs time to... Hyperspeed! Away! Sorry, people. I think that was a darned exciting program. When will we find out what happens next? I'm afraid that's not up to us, Lieutenant. Our fate is now in the hands of Fox executives. Fox executives? My people have been at war with them for a thousand years. you're not helping. Sorry, sir. <laughs>